Hey guys, so today I picked up three new Edward Sovereigns. Uh, not these three in my hand, but three that are down here. So what you'll notice is, if you can see up in the top left there, we have the 1902, which is the first year of Edward Sovereigns. And then down here on the bottom right, we have the 1910. So we have all nine available years. Now, the Edward portrait, it was pretty much the same thing the whole way through. So there's nothing too fancy to look for in this. Uh, there is various mint marks that you can see. And you'll find those mint marks on the Georgian dragon side. So if you look just below the neck here, so where Edward, where his name is starting, just below the neck, you have the engraver's initials there. And you can see that on each of these. Now, many of the Eds you'll see if you buy in best value, you won't see much hair and uh, you won't see any detail there. You'll just see like a bald looking Ed. Now, these three are pretty nice examples. And uh, obviously the ones down here in various uh, grades, the probably the lower quality ones I've got here are probably these two on the outside. Uh, I'm going to have a little look in a bit more detail in a moment and show you some of the things to look out for. But if you have a look on this one, let me just pop those down. We have here the 1907. And if you look just above the 9 and the 0, so what is like the earth in this, uh, you know, this picture, if you like, you'll see there's an S there. So that is S for Sydney. So when you're looking for mint marks on your coins, you need to, you know, just sometimes tilt it, just play with the light a little bit. And uh, I'll just try and get it to focus. So you can just see there, like, for example, if I tilt it that way, you know, you might not see it as well. So just give it a little tilt in the light. You'll have a look and you'll see. Now, when it comes to sort of picking out good quality coins in terms of sovereigns, especially you know, when you're looking at these Edwards, uh, you want to have a look initially and just sort of see is the rim okay so the outer edge you see this one has a tiny little nick down here it does look worse with the light reflecting off it there it's not actually that noticeable if you just look at it you know without the shining light on it but there's a little tiny nick there nothing too major uh, you'll see the coin itself though the actual picture it looks quite nice condition you know there's no deep scratches or gouges or anything like that uh, you get a few marks just these were still just about in circulation, but not for you know years and years. So like the early Victorias and before, you know, they were circulated for a lot longer. So they are just much more worn. So what I would look at first, if I'm looking at this side, is something like the dragon here. See where his two arms are. You want to look and see how much uh, detail you can see on there. Now, if it's just like worn, that will be one of the first places to, you know, show the wear, as will the horse's like chest, if you like, and maybe the shoulder of the rider there. So you can see pretty good detail. Let me just show you a slightly more worn one. Uh, let's try this one. So we've got two next to each other now. So you can see on this one here, it's a lot more obvious the wear on the dragon's stomach there compared to on this one where you know we still got a bit of detail there's like three little ridges that you can see and you can just see in the bottom there that they are but the middle is worn so you've got a bit more detail on the right hand side one that is obviously the nicer one of the two but um, you know you can see the design it's not totally worn but there is a bit of wear again just on the horse there at the front so obviously it's the highest points of the coin but those are the points that will tend to wear. So if we flip it over, we're probably going to see a lot less detail in the hair. You know, you definitely want to see an ear if the ear is missing. Um, if it's that worn, then you're probably going to lose a bit of weight as well. So you see we have got still some detail. It's not a terrible example. But we can clearly see the coin on the right is superior. So if you're picking out, you know, if you've got the choice, maybe you've got a local coin shop or you're at a coin fair or something or you've got you know, maybe just an online seller who's got photos and individual coins, you would really pick the right hand one, you know, pick the nicer coin there and uh, have a better quality coin in your stack. Now, 
I've obviously picked a few dates here to complete what is like the uh, Edward, you know, run there if you like. And uh, yeah, it means I've got a couple of coins that are perhaps not as good. Um, they're still, you know, they're still okay called quality bullion sovereigns. But if you're, you know, just looking to stack and uh, you want to make it easy for yourself, you know, ideally picking up the best quality that you can at the lowest premium. So if the premium is equal, like if I go into a coin dealer and he's got, you know, dates, uh, eds like this, then I'll, I'll pick those up over, you know, another monarch that might be worn. So that is what to look for on the eds. And uh, yeah, like I say, there's different mint, mint, bleh, there is different mint marks. So you can, uh, you know, take a look for those. If you wanted to collect the different mint marks, then that would give you, you know, some more to go after. Uh, but otherwise, there are nine available coins. And obviously, you can just stack as many as you like if you're uh, purely buying bullion. So other than that, I've got this little thing here. It's not actually new. Uh, you would have seen this on the channel uh, probably a couple of years ago if you were watching then, if you're one of the early viewers. Now, I just forgot about it. just found it in a drawer along with a two and a half. And uh, yeah, it must have just slid down the side and I uh, hadn't seen it. So um, here it is. Yeah, nice little pump bar. Not really the sort of thing I would stack, but you know, it's a nice design. Looks okay. Some people like them. I wouldn't really buy one gram bars and uh, you know the premium is just a bit hefty but I guess if you can get them cheap enough then uh, then why not but for me you know sovereigns are the favorite and uh, we'll see in the future uh, I'm a few coins away from completing all the George sovereigns and uh, I've got all the veil heads I've got the jubilee head sovereigns and one off the machin portrait and I'm two away from the sort of later Liz post-millennium dates. So yeah, we've got a bit of a can of worms. Um, and then I've not really started to sort out the Young Victorias yet. So I do have uh, a number of those. I have some shields as well. And they're just going to need a bit of a sort out. So uh, yeah, we will see really. But that is all the ads. So let me know what you think. Have you got any ads? Do you like the ads? Uh, whoops. What are your favourite portraits? Is there any sort of goals you've got with stacking or are you more of a collector? You know, let me know. Talk to you in the comments.